afternoon, Broncos. I'm Zarina Obiata, filling in for Bonnie Parissa. And I'm Steven Acosta, filling in for Chris Galvan. And we're here to bring you the latest campus news. The Center for Community Engagement's Fall Volunteer Fair was a success, drawing in many students from all over campus. The Volunteer Fair took place at University Park on Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Nonprofit organizations were able to set up booths and hand out promotional and informational materials to interested students. The California State University System has announced that all 23 CSU campuses will utilize the AWARE, Awake, Alive program. The program is a nonprofit created in memory of a Cal Poly San Luis Obispo student, and the goal is to reduce alcohol poisoning deaths. The program will be incorporated with the Cal Poly Pomona Health and Wellness Center and was already part of Health Fest on Thursday. This week, Cal Poly Pomona welcomed famous social justice activist Dolores Huerta as a speaker on campus. Huerta was actively fighting for farmers' rights in the 1960s. Arguably, one of her most notable achievements was in 1962 when Huerta helped co-found the National Farm Workers Association, which later became known as the United Farm Workers. Cal Poly Pomona's College of Business Administration has received a $500,000 gift from Avenant, a global business technology solutions and manager services provider. The new endowment fund is aimed to create a cloud computing center at CPP. Information technology students will receive advanced and first-hand learning opportunities at the center. Let's check in with Christian Cataldo for updates on sports. Thanks, Serena. The Broncos sports teams continued their recent success as they all earned another game in the win column. The men's soccer team set new school records with 14 wins and 11 shutouts as they continued to add on to the undefeated record. The Broncos defeated the San Francisco State Gators 1-0 and the Cal State Monterey Bay Seawolves 3-0 while clinching a playoff spot in the upcoming CAA tournament in the process. The women's soccer team gained their fourth straight win by defeating the San Francisco State Gators 1-0 and the Cal State Monterey Bay Seawolves 2-0. With those two wins, the Broncos improved their overall record to 10-4 and their CAA conference record to 5-3, which is tied for fourth in the conference. The women's volleyball team also earned their fourth straight victory by defeating the Cal State Sun and Sloss Warriors 3-0 and the Chico State Wildcats in a thrilling 3-2 win coming in five sets. As a result of those victories, the Broncos improved their overall record to 10-6 and their CAA conference record to 8-5. Men's and women's soccer will be on the road as they take on Humboldt State on Friday and Sonoma State on Sunday. Women's volleyball will also be on the road as they take on Cal State LA on Friday and Cal State Dominguez Hills on Saturday. Lastly, the cross country team will be in action in the Titan Invitation on Friday. Now back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Christian. Now here's some of the stories we're working on for the next issue of the Poly Post. The Cal Poly Pomona Music Department's Fall Special Events Series opens with Art Songs of Latin America, featuring soprano Ursula Kleinecki Boyer with pianist Vernon Snyder on Tuesday. The performance featured art songs from Cuban, Mexican, and South American composers. Pizza with the Presidents is back again this quarter and will be held on Tuesday at the University Quad. Event coordinators will be serving pizza, and students will be able to ask questions about the campus to the university president, campus officials, and professional staff. That's it for us here in the Poly Post newsroom. For more information, follow us at the Poly Post on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and read up to the minute news at thepolypost.com. I'm Zarina Opieta. And I'm Stephen Acosta. Until next time, Pomona.